Adverbs of place tell us the position of an object in relation to another. Adverbs of place also tell us the direction in which a movement takes place. Here and there are the two most commonly used adverbs of place. These adverbs fill the space separating the two objects, people, places, etc. Sometimes not one but two or more words function like an adverb of place. In the last lesson, we begin our discussion on various types of adverbs with adverbs of manner, which dealt with the question word how. We learned how something happens or the manner in which an action or event takes place. Now, in this lesson, we'll study in detail adverbs of place, which are associated with the question word where. Friends, my name is Heman Singh Rana and you're watching in live in English, making the language entertaining, lively and functional. And it's time to learn something new. First, we need to understand what exactly adverbs of place are and what role they perform in a sentence. In simple words, you can remember that these are adverbs which tell us where an action, event or activity happens or where a thing is located. Here and there are the two most commonly used adverbs of place. Now we'll see some examples keeping in mind the question word where. They all have assembled over there. Assembled where? There. We have been living here for over 10 years. Living where? Here. He went to a hill station and stayed there for a week. Stayed where? There. There's a famous cafe near here. Cafe is where? Here. It wasn't difficult to understand, was it? We use here when we are gesturing or pointing towards a place that's near us and there when the position is further away in order to draw someone else's attention to it. Let's see some examples. The book you are looking for is right there. You need to sign here on the line. Both of you can sit over there. Here is the building you were talking about. With here and there, we refer to specific places and locations. But when we are not sure where specifically something is located or where the action happens, we can use adverbs of place somewhere, everywhere, anywhere, nowhere and elsewhere. Let's see some examples. I think protests are happening everywhere. Even after driving for an hour, we have reached nowhere. He once lived somewhere in London. Did you go anywhere last weekend? If you can't find your files here, search elsewhere. Adverbs of place everywhere, nowhere, somewhere, anywhere and elsewhere in the just mentioned sentences refer to unspecified places and locations. Besides these commonly used adverbs of place, there are several others that we use daily. These are above, over, below, under, across, through, about, around, round, up, down, behind, ahead, back, inside, outside, indoors, outdoors, sideways, upstairs, downstairs, uphill, downhill, home, upward, downward, forward, backward, homewards, out, off, on, nearby, near, left, right, etc. You need not get confused with the long list of adverbs of place. These are not that difficult to understand. Besides telling us the position or location of an object or a person, these adverbs perform four more functions. If you can remember these, it will be easier to deal with adverbs of place. The first major function is that of movement. Many adverbs come after a verb to express certain movements. Let's see some of them to understand them better. My friend came across to talk to me. 
we all gazed across the city. Across here means the movement from one side to the other. But when the movement from one side to another is in something such as grass or a forest, we use through instead of across, as in. Martha and Elsa walked through the fields to reach early. As the school gates opened, kids came streaming through. We use over for the movement from one side to another from a higher position. For example, out of nowhere, a flock of birds flew over. He jumped over the wall and hurt himself in the process. Now let's have a look at some other adverbs of place where it is easy to track the movement. I turned around to open the window and looked out. The road bent round to run alongside a gorge. It is difficult to move about in this area. Eric went upstairs to meet his friends. I moved the car forward to make way for others. Children love to play outdoors. People are waiting for you outside. Examples are many. These were just a few to make you familiar with those talking about movement. Adverbs of place can also indicate the distance between two objects, places, people, etc. These adverbs tell us the extent to which one thing is distant from another. Let's see some examples. She walked away from me. Martha sat far away from Steve. Mike came nearer to make himself heard. My friends live nearby. The ship sailed off into the distance. Adverbs of place also tell us the direction in which a movement takes place. For example, The current was so strong that our boat drifted 5 miles downstream. I am finding it difficult to drive uphill. We are headed eastwards towards the mountains. We will fly south at the weekend. Be careful while driving backwards. Last but not the least, adverbs of place tell us the position of an object in relation to another. In other words, these adverbs fill the space separating the two objects, people, places, etc. Let's see some examples to understand this. This river flows between the two mountains. We plan to construct shops with flats above. The tunnel runs underneath a busy city. The cars behind are desperate to take over. You are too large to fit under the table. Sometimes not one but two or more words can function like an adverb of place. We can refer to these words together or such phrases as adverbials. These could be adverb phrase, prepositional phrase or a noun phrase giving more information about the verb. Let's see some examples. The apples are on the table. Come over here to get your parcel. We drove 5 km east of London. My friend's house is somewhere here. Last but not the least, adverbs of place can modify nouns also. Here are some examples. The books up there are highly sought after. The house next door has been built aesthetically. Living in certain areas downtown costs a fortune. The lake behind is surrounded by mountains. So friends, that's it in this lesson. I hope now you know what exactly adverbs of place are and how they help us talk about position, location, movement and direction. In case you have any questions, 
please feel free to ask me. In the next lesson, we'll look into adverbs of time. I'll be back with you soon. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Goodbye.